Hey guys, it's John Jimmy here, it's time for another video and as you can see from the title, I actually have a Ami Ami unboxing and now unfortunately I have actually already opened this and taken the items out of the box uh, because I actually had to pick this up before work because I got hit by customs which I'm not too fussed about because these items that I got, I got at a cheaper price compared to other websites uh, it just so happens, a uh, little quick story I want to tell you guys is when I actually went to pick this up I saw there was another Ami Ami box and you can tell the Ami Ami boxes by the giant fragile sign on the side and I thought hang on a second I've not ordered two things from Ami Ami just so happened the other box wasn't for me so I kind of want to know who the other box is for because usually Ami Ami sells Japanese and anime related items and it'd be kind of cool to see who it was for and what kind of animes they're into um, but I will probably never find out so um yeah, anyway, time for the unboxing, although, like I said, I've taken everything out because I've got them right here. So, uh, yeah, let's get this started. So, obviously, I've brought something from Ami Ami, and every month they have new postcards. As you can see, I've got a couple here, and it just so happens we've got a new one, which is really cute. Uh, it's got Amiko and Liko on the front, very cute. And on the back, it's got a picture of this Japanese fishing game. I'm not quite sure what it's called. But I do know about it, but yeah, it's a very cute card, so I'll be putting that with the rest of the ones that I've got here. Uh, let's get on to the things that I've actually bought. So these are things that I actually pre-ordered, I can't remember when exactly I pre-ordered them, but I saw them, they were pretty cheap compared to other websites, and I thought I have to get them because I do love the series. You probably already know what it is from the um, title of this video. But I bought myself Anna and Elsa from Frozen, and these are from Bandai. Uh, they're actually by the same company who did the Charlotte figure that I reviewed a little while ago. Um, but yeah, these, I'm not sure if you can actually buy these in the UK, because as I will show you in a minute, most of the words on the box are in Japanese, so if you do want to buy these and you live in the UK, I don't know where you can get them, apart from Ami Ami and a few other Japanese websites or Chinese websites. Uh, so yeah, I might as well just get this unboxed. So here we have them both together, obviously I'm going to show the boxes together because the boxes are exactly the same and then I'll show the figures separately. Uh, but as you can see the box is exactly the same, they have all the same details. Uh, they've got this little gold banner and their names on the front. Uh, on the side we've got a little Anna uh, label and then you've got Snow Queen, exactly the same on both sides. And like I said this is from Figure Arts, you can see that one up there. and see that there. There's the other side, it's pretty much exactly the same. And then the backs are exactly the same, um, just obviously the picture is different, the colour is different to match with the box. And as you can see it says Figure Arts from Bandai and it's also from Tamashi Nations which I don't know that um, company unfortunately but I do know Bandai and Figure Arts made the Infinite Stratos Charlotte figure that I did review a little while ago. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the boxes. Let's actually open these up and show you what they look like. So I have taken them out of their boxes and from first glance they both look amazing. The only concern I have with these figures is the colour of their hair. For some reason they've used this really metallic colour, especially with Elsa it doesn't quite look right but I suppose it's the way they've designed these figures. Um, Talking about the hair, let's actually do a quick close-up. So as you can see with uh, Anna's hair, her hair is very, very shiny. And she even has a little silver strip, which is the same colour that they've actually used for Elsa's hair. And like I said, it doesn't look too bad on her, and I don't really have a problem with it. Just some people may have a problem with it. But um, yeah, like I said, with details, the details are just absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't like to do close-ups. But yeah, they've even added like the little details on the boots, you can see all the details on the skirt, all the details on her cape. And she even does come with this little stand because obviously she needs a way to stand. Um, it was a little bit difficult to get on her foot but nothing too challenging and uh, I had noticed when I put her down she does sometimes like to wobble a little bit but she should be fine. Now onto Elsa, like I said the hair is kind of a big concern for these figures because as you can see her hair is very very shiny um, it's pretty much just pure silver paint they put on it it doesn't look too bad on the camera because obviously you've got the light and it doesn't look as silver but they have literally just put pure silver metallic 
paint on her hair where now she her hair is white slash grayish uh, which is a bit of an odd choice but I suppose it's like I said the design for the figures uh, but apart from that she looks really, really nice as you can see she looks like Elsa and her dress is just really detailed she's got all the little stripes and pattern even all the little diamonds or sequins on her dress her dress is like really metallic -y. As you can see, and probably my favourite thing about this figure is probably the cave. I mean, just look at it. It's I basically use this as a way to keep her up because you put her down. Obviously, she doesn't need a stand. And just looking at all the little details on the back, it's quite nice. I just wish they added a little bit more to it, like made it a bit more se sequiny, or um, put a bit of more metallic on there if they really wanted to, uh, because her cape is actually quite sparkly in the film, but. You know, not a big concern. I could add glitter to it if I really wanted to. So there we have it. That is the Anna and Elsa figures from Bandai. Like I said, I bought these from Ami Ami. Um, I'm not sure if you can still buy them there, but if you are interested in getting them, I'm sure you can buy them from other websites. They might just be a little bit more pricey, as I paid about £18 for them, when other websites wanted about £40 for each. Um, which I'm glad I didn't pay £40 for each of them because they're not really worth that kind of money um, as they are kind of made of plastic and they're not really that collectible in terms of like frozen collectibles and it's, there's not a limited amount of them so um, yeah unfortunately I'm not really a big reviewer and I don't really know how to review figures that much but hopefully you enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one bye bye